In this video, I will be giving you five awesome tips and tricks on how to be successful with the Sunu Band. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation mobility specialist and today I'm gonna to be giving you five awesome tips and tricks on how to be successful using a Sunu Band. So I've gotten the opportunity to talk with several people who have or have used the Sunu Band and some of the tips I'm gonna share with you today they weren't even aware of, um, especially number five. So please stay tuned and I hope these become helpful for you. So for those of you out there who don't know what a Sunu band is, it is a smart band that uses sonar and echolocation through haptic vibration feedback to detect obstacles up to 16 feet away. And the Sunu band is not used to replace either a white cane or a guide dog, but rather to be used as another tool in conjunction with either the cane or a guide dog. All right, now it's time to get into the tips and tricks. So my tip number one is really to learn the device. And what I mean by that is learn the layout of where the buttons are, uh, where the touchpad is, where the sonar sensor is. So here on the Sunu band, I have a metallic sensor, uh, which is circular, and that's where the sonar beams are emitted from. Uh, there's two buttons on the side. Uh, one is the home button, which is uh, closer to the sonar, and it has a rough texture. And then the smooth button is uh, the sonar button, which turns the sonar on and off. And then this top flat part is where there is a touch pad uh, for different gestures. And then on the back is where you plug in a micro USB uh, to charge the device. So I really recommend getting familiar with this device, what the buttons do, because if you don't, it's very easy to become frustrated very quickly with the Sunu Band. All right, now for tip two, this one is very similar to tip one, but spend some time learning the gestures of the touchpad. You can do a lot through the touchpad. Uh, it avoids having to take out your phone. Um, so really spend the time to get to know the gestures for the touchpad. Okay, tip number three, make sure you update the Sunu Band. And this is done really easily through the Sunu Band app, which is free and available on Android and iPhone. Um, they're constantly releasing new features. And if you don't update, you'll miss out. So uh, tip number three, update the Sunu Band when there's a new update. My tip number four for you all is learn what the haptic vibration feedback is telling you. There are several different modes and it's important to know what each mode is telling you. And also this circular uh, metallic part where the sonar is, is kind of like a flashlight. So wherever you're pointing this sonar at is what obstacles it's going to be picking up. And there are four different ways you can tell what the Sunu band is relaying to you. One is if there's no vibrations, that means there's no obstacles uh, anywhere nearby. Number two is a slow kind of pulsing, and that means there's an object slightly farther away, um, not really that close to you. Uh, the, then there's a medium pulsing, and the medium pulsing is telling you that you're starting to get closer to an object. And then finally, a constant pulse, which is telling you that something is in your immediate uh, personal zone or space. And finally, tip number five, this is my personal favorite. I don't know about you, but many times I misplace my phone. But with the Sunu Band, there's a way of tracking and locating your phone through sound. So I'm gonna demonstrate here. I'm gonna find the home button, the rough one, and hold it down for th three seconds. Do you hear that whistling? That is my phone. So wherever my phone is, uh, if it's lost in my house somewhere, I can get that cheeping going and find where my phone is. And finally, my second part of tip number five is if you tap the Sunu band against your waist or your pocket two times, it turns the sonar on and off. So sometimes you might be stopped to talk to somebody and the sonar is just vibrating and going off because it's detecting that person and you want to discreetly turn it off. All you got to do is tap it against your pocket two times and that'll turn it off. And then when you're ready to go, tap two times, turns it back on and you're on your way. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope these tips were helpful and you learned something about the Sunu Band, maybe some things you didn't know or you never heard of. Uh, if you want to learn more about the Sunu Band, I recommend going to their website. They have a good tutorial section, both in video and written form. Uh, you can also find out a lot more information. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. And if you can, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.